What's good, YouTube? Got the mic around my neck this time. Shout out G Money for that idea. Um, today's video, I'm going to be honest, we don't really have a topic to talk about. So it's going to be another yap session. What's new? Um, but, you know, recently I've been informed that, uh, you know, one of my buddies told me that somebody saw my channel and that they, like, took something from my channel and kind of twisted it and, like, made it into something that it wasn't. And I mean, if we're being honest, I don't care. <laughs> I don't. Um, and that's just because, I mean, at the end of the day, who, like, nothing really matters. Like, we're just gonna, like, everybody's gonna die. And this is just my YouTube channel, and I'm just trying to, like, record, like, my life and what my thoughts are. And you know, guys, I just come on here and yap. If you don't have a PAX, you need one. <laughs> So this is really just like my yap station. So if anybody's, you know, here that's close to me that wants to listen, that's cool. I advise you. But, you know, don't be like, you don't got to be. I mean, honestly, you can do what you want. It doesn't really matter to me. I'm going to keep making my videos or whatever. But I guess we could start talking about, that was just a little disclaimer, you know, for the people at home. Um, but let's see. This week, today's Tuesday, March 12th. As you can see, time stamped. No biz this week. Last week I wrote like 2,600, which is like a cool week. Like that's great and all, but it's like not, it's really not, especially not in March, like a push month. I need to be doing more than that. And maybe that's on me because I haven't really been making the emphasis on reps like I needed to. And I've been working on that. I have been, you know, y'all see I got the headset dent. From working all day long, bro. I had the headset down. This is what I do. I sit in my chair. I make phone calls. I do appointments. I'm helping people. I'm practicing, watching YouTube. And that's my job. But I'm not going to lie. I love my job. I do love it. And I feel like everything has been good here so far. You know what I mean? I have no complaints about any of the people. Everybody's super cool. I'm actually going back out to see bus in like... Um, I believe in the 23rd. Let me check the date here. So today's the 12th, like I said. So we leave the 23rd. And I'll be there from the 23rd to the 31st. I'll be over in CBUS. Um, so that'll be fun. I mean, it was nice to like go to the office and everything like that. Um, like last time. And everybody was super cool. And it was we had a fun time. We were there. So I'm excited to definitely go again. Um, unfortunately, no biz this week yet. I don't know what's going on oh new update though i've been doing a new type of like uh working out like i've been working out from home because i have like this dumbbells like these adjustable dumbbells and i've been doing like more like almost like calisthenics for being honest like push-ups pull-ups squats but then i've also been using the dumbbells to kind of supplement like if i'm trying to hit the buys or the tries <sighs> or like today i put the buys i hit the chin-ups you know what I mean? So it, it all depends. I think maybe I'll make some workout videos. I mean, might as well. This is this is the channel. This is life. I was thinking of making like a vlog for when I'm in the sea bus, um, so that way y'all have that. But for this week, I've really been trying to like number one increase my activity because I feel like like whenever I look at the numbers like in the past, whenever I break down my weeks because I usually like break it down. I, I keep track of all my numbers, my appointments, sit sales refs collected, ALP, ref sits, ref sales, ref ALP, appointments added, like I have all my statistics and I have like a spreadsheet, maybe I could actually pull up the spreadsheet and y'all can see it, um, maybe I'll put that on the overlay here, but I have that and it has all my information and you know when we look at the actual numbers, like they always play out, like for example like last week I had a total of nine sits and three sales and that's what they say like being on system is like 30% close ratio 33% whatever so I'm like like 10 out of 3 they say 30% so I'm closing you know a little above system even um, but my biggest problem is just not getting enough activity you know what I mean not getting in front of another, enough people because I feel like if you can just get in front of enough people then eventually you know the numbers will play themselves out and that's just the law of large numbers and I think that's kind of how life works if you think about it i mean i was watching this video today and it was matthew mcconaughey and he was saying how like when you fail in front of people um people always point and say ha ha na 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 boo boo 
That's what he said, not me. But when people say that, you know, those people are like on the sideline for a reason. You know what I mean? They're pointing fingers for a reason because they're too scared to actually go out and do something and like make that jump, make that leap and fail. And I feel like in life, if you really want to do like something big, you know what I mean? You're going to have to fail and failure is the best way to learn. And you can't be afraid of failure you're afraid of failure then you'll never step out of your comfort zone and like we've talked about before on the channel you know being outside of your comfort zone is really the only way the only place that you grow you know what i mean so if you're too afraid of failure too afraid to step out you never grow you never become a better person and you're either growing or dying so if you become stagnant then what why like then you turn into a pessimist and then you're just here taking up space and bringing other people down with you you know what i mean if you want to would do you want to be that type of person i don't think anybody wants to be the type of person if they look at themselves you know from a bird's eye view and they're they see themselves talking to other people and other people's moods come down you know what i mean you want to be the type of person people want to talk to you because you know what i mean You, you can bring some type of joy to their life you know and maybe that's also a part of like spirituality with god and stuff because, um, like the Bible always says, talks about the fruit of the spirit, peace, love, joy, you know what I mean? Kindness, faithfulness, self-control, um, and these are all things that come as a result of living the lifestyle that you want to live, I, I guess, because, I mean, if we look at the reason why people are really, like, down and out, it's because they have no hope. And it's not that they don't have any hope, it's just that they have like a limited amount of options. Because if you could if you could see, you know, every path that you could take, like hypothetically, if you could put on some goggles and it shows you, okay, you could go down this path and this would happen, or this path, this would happen, this path, this would happen. If you could see all that, realistically, I don't see anybody that would, you know what I mean, be sad all the time or be frustrated or trying to bring other people down because in the end everything works out so if you can see that far out you can just pick your path and i don't see why it wouldn't work out therefore you wouldn't be hopeless therefore you wouldn't be a miserable human being <laughs> so i guess maybe the first step to getting on that route is just doing something you know what i mean whether it just be like trying to be nice to somebody or trying to find something that you're interested in diving deep or getting your bag up bro because i'm gonna be honest bro you need to get your money up i don't like there's no way you can be past the age of like like after like 23 like your past is gone bro like you're not a kid anymore like you need to be like financially stable like you need to be good on your own like i'm me personally i'm trying to make it i'm trying to be there before then i'm trying to be big balling by then but it gets to a certain point where you just gotta pull your britches up (laughs) <laughs> and get your hands a little dirty I guess but maybe I'm chatting then again this is what I do on my YouTube channel so if you don't like it please but if you do like it I appreciate it I think we're up to like 11 subs now which is tough so I appreciate you guys um, let me know if you want to see some workout videos or maybe like a vlog from CBus uh, I think that would be fun I think that would be fun to make uh, my guy, my friend Laden, she's been doing the vlogs on TikTok. Also, I just started posting on TikTok again, so follow my TikTok. I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put the at right there. That's the at. Um, it's just at Joshua T. Doyle, the same as my Instagram. Um, same at. So yeah, follow me. If you don't like what I'm saying, please don't like. Just try and like change my words up. You know what I mean? This is my channel. I'm gonna say what I want, but. You take it how you want, I guess. I know how I said it. You take it how you want. But guys, at the end of the day, I mean, it really just comes down to the type of person that you want to be in life and, and the impact that you want to make while you're here. Whether it be positive or negative, it really is up to you. Like you, you you're in control of your life. And the faster that you realize that you need to make things happen, that you can't just let things happen to you as you go through this life, I think the faster you can get started on the journey to be the best person you want to be so with that being said please uh make your name mean something you know what i mean make your 
family proud. Um, but everybody sleep good. I'm about to be out. Also, I started sleeping on the floor. Video coming about that soon as well. Um, but yeah, peace.